Despite a perfect season, the college football playoff committee has left TCU out of their top six in their initial selections of 2022. TCU ranked number seven in the AP poll with wins over Kansas State and Oklahoma State headlining their perfect slate. Uh, which means this is a busy man. Head coach Sonny Dykes takes a few minutes to join us. And coach, look, uh, recognizing that this is just the beginning, what did you think initially when you saw last night's decision? Well, you know, you know, it's funny. I didn't see it live. I heard about it a little bit on Twitter. Um, you know, I was talking to some recruits via Twitter and, and read a little bit about it. Um, you know, I'm not surprised. I think preseason rankings have so much to do with the way teams are perceived. You know, we were picked seventh or eighth in our league um, in the preseason polls. So to me, it's going to take, uh, take a while for us to build a little bit of credibility. And, and I'm okay with that. I mean, look, we've got, we've got four very difficult games left. Um, in, a, in an opportunity in a conference championship game if we're fortunate enough to get there. So I think we have a lot of opportunities to show everybody what kind of football team that we have. And, you know, I'm proud of the way that we've played up to this point, but we still have a lot to prove. Yeah, Coach, uh, obviously you control what you can control, which is winning football games. But, I mean, this league is really good from top to bottom. The gauntlet that you guys just went through, the gauntlet that you've got coming up, even though you don't have to leave the state of Texas, you've got Baylor, Texas, Texas Tech, and then Iowa State coming to you. I mean, th this league top to bottom, what makes it so difficult on a week-in, week-out basis? You know, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's just it's a very, very competitive league from top to bottom. There's really not that big of a difference between – you know, the, the team that's in first place and the team that's in last place. And so, you know, you have to play well every single Saturday. There's no layup. You can't have a bad game. If you do, you're going to end up getting beat. And, you know, we've been fortunate to win some, some tight ball games and some games where we had to come back in the second half. But our guys have played really well. You know, we're playing with a lot of confidence right now. You know, we played four consecutive ranked teams in a row. Um, and, you know, that's, that's a difficult thing to do. And we were able to find a way to win all of those games. And so, like I said, I'm proud of our guys for what they've accomplished right now, but, but we realize we've got a lot to prove. Coach, I feel like so much of the conversation coming off of the initial ranking is, wow, how can TCU not be ranked ahead of so-and-so and so-and-so? And I'm sitting back going, isn't this how Coach Dykes would like it? I mean, doesn't this fit into the narrative in the makeup of your football team, <clears throat> Coach, in the sense that, this just gives you more to strive for, does it not? I'm curious to know how your team responded to this. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is we haven't ever talked about it. Never one time this season have we ever talked about the conference standings. Uh, we've never talked about the top 25. We've never talked about, um, um, you know, the, the rankings that just came out. You know, that stuff just hasn't ever really crossed our, our, our mind much, honestly. And so – you know, we have a very difficult game Saturday against a very good Texas Tech team. We know that. And, and our guys have just taken that one day at a time mentality and really one practice at a time. So we've we've really worked hard to put ourselves in this position, you know, and our guys have stayed incredibly focused. And I think we realize that if we, we lose our focus and we start talking about things that are out of our control, you know, then all of a sudden we've created a distraction for ourselves. And, and our guys have played well just because we've avoided that up to this point. And so, you know, as I said earlier, it's never come up in conversation one time. We haven't talked about it as a coaching staff, uh, and we certainly haven't talked about it to our players. Coach, that makes a lot of sense. But now that it's out there, do you, do you say anything now to your players about getting ready for what's next? You know, not really. I think they all know that that we have a very small margin of error. You know, we can't we can't lose any games. We've got to we've got to go out. We've got to play well and put ourselves in the best position that we can. And I know I'm confident, and I would imagine our players are confident that if we if we were able to to win our games, then you know I think that that we would feel like we would end up in a good position. So there's still a lot of uh, a lot of football to be played. We have four games on our schedule left. You know, hopefully there'll be a fifth conference championship game, and then and then we'll kind of see where we are at that point. Because you know when you look around college football right now, there's a lot of teams that are getting ready to knock each other off. You know, obviously, you know Georgia and Tennessee play this week, and you know, as you start looking at that list, obviously uh, Ohio State and Michigan are going to play. And so there's a lot of teams that are ahead of us right now that still have to play each other. So, you know, I'm confident that if we continue to play well, people will take notice. Coach, thank you. Absolutely right. Only control what you can. And the college football landscape could look a lot different in two weeks than it does as we sit here today. Uh, but congratulations thus far and best of luck the rest of the way.
Yeah, thanks for having me on. Really appreciate it. And yeah, you know, the crazy thing about college football is who, who in the world knows what's going to happen on any given Saturday. So that's what makes it so exciting. And so it makes it the, the, the great game that it is. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.